Hello, this is Gray Mason. This is a video series where I do coaching sessions with players that are looking for some help and guidance as they're learning the game. Okay. All so right. So, as you see, um, some stuff happened. Some stuff did happen. Our purple some friend stuff. is no longer a friend, is he? Um, uh, yeah, yeah. It's some, some. Some. It's difficult to explain what really happened. So yeah, what's, he, what we we were in cycle twelve when we spoke a few days ago. Where are we at today? Uh, today we are on cycle sixteen. So okay. Cycles further. Um. So, yeah, as you can see, the AI up here is just it's dead. I'm just leaving it on one planet, letting it just stock. Okay. Up here. Perfect. Yep. Um, you are safe. I am yeah, way ahead on weapons tech on it. It's uh, okay. It is on weapons. Oh, I got weapons five now, but yeah. Oh, wait, are you friendly with it? Right click on no. it again, it's... and then go into open the eyeball at the bottom there. No. Oh, your enemy. Good. All right. <laughs> you know, you you know, you know about you know about how you could get tech from the AI, right? Yeah, I'd have to pump <clears> something. <throat> oh, well, it's really cheap now because. Yeah. So. Right. I don't know how important that manufacturing is, but. You know, might get that actually. That actually, if, 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 how much money <clears throat> you have, seventeen hundred. So what that would be, yeah. um, that would be thirty times eight gets you two. So two hundred forty, and then thirty more. So two hundred and two hundred and seventy will get you manufacturing. So if you have the money, wouldn't be a terrible I might, thing. I might do that. <clears throat> I might. I might do that. And, uh, yep. Okay. Yeah. All right, so but that's I'll, that. But let's 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 talk about the the main point of action and contention here. Yes. As you can see, um, some stuffs going on here and here and yeah. So what happened? I'm gonna open my comms with him. So he was off. He was AFK for three days. He said. Okay. So I've been sending him messages like, hey, he's just completely unresponsive, and then within an hour that I sent my first, you know, bunch of ships onto this planet of his here, he sends me a message with, within the first hour, which is like, come on. Uh, the coincidence on that is just a little too much. He had been, you know, still researching um, weapons for the past two days when he was AFK, if it's really true that he was AFK, even though I asked him, hey, can you, you know, research terraforming? Uh, so at that point, we both had weapons seven, I think. Now I'm uh, on eight. Okay. Uh, and I just lost all trust in him because he still kept amassing troops like right on these planets here and, and up mm -hmm. here. So eventually I was like, you know what? I've got enough of this because I was running into a lot of trouble with this guy up here. He was just sending so many ships. It's just so, it's really difficult to take him here. Yeah. Um, so I was like, you know what? It's just much easier for me to push into this guy, um, cause, and he's not really a good ally anyways. So I might just do that. So and, I and just... then and then as soon as you did, he woke up, and then he was now he's willing to play. Yeah, yeah, with, yeah. like within the hour. So I was like, okay, he's just allied with the other two because he's like on the same eco as them. He's on, he's yeah, he's running on tech wise. He's pretty much the same as them. Like manufacturing six, he now also has. They also have it. Like. Yeah. Okay. Some some stuff happens. So um, so yeah. So that is a bit problematic. So if you zoom back out, you are actually fighting now purple and yellow. You are not fighting teal. Is teal still trying to finish off orange? Do you know? Yeah. It looks like he's slowly pushing it to here. You can take a look at the intel screen. What is your relationship with him? Uh, I don't really have a relationship with him. I've never really spoken to him at all. Uh, well, I sent him a message, but he didn't really. Just like way okay. Back, maybe, so here's maybe. what I would recommend, right? Like, so right now, it's kind of you against the world, except that they're you know you're gonna fight purple and yellow. It looks like if they've aligned against you. But in yeah. this mode, you can trade tech with anyone. In the 64 player game, you have to be in scan range. So yeah. I would see if you could find out if he would be willing to work with you to get top two. Um, and that would entail him 
pausing his expansion into orange or only doing it half-heartedly who's giving you a bigger challenge maybe let's look at ship counts or the, the intel with the ships how is it going purple or yet who's a bigger threat purple or yellow uh, they're about equal well barely you know this yeah i'm i'm not too worried because they're just gonna blow up a whole lot of ships into this planet here um but com and... combined they definitely have you beat yeah, yeah, combined to have me beat, but... Let's, let's, let's look at your the industry tab um, and, and the intel. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, I still have somewhat of a lead, although the industry is not really up to date. He's tied with me now on industry. Okay. Um, but but, here, but here's a big difference. Your economy is double. Yeah. And um, that will factor in huge. Well, how's Yellow's looking? Yeah, he's still... Those work. guys are still okay. way behind on to go. Okay, that'll start to that'll start to hurt. Now the advantage they have though is they can have two or three techs being researched at a yeah. time, and you and you only have the one. Um, okay, um, I mean you you got to fight people at one point. I would prioritize killing purple. Yeah, that's what I'm currently doing. I'm yeah. just trying to hold this planet here because it's a pretty yeah. good planet to hold, and just you see, I just amassed a bunch up here, and then when yes. he sent this 200 up i just took that yeah uh, zoom in just a little bit how what are the industry on those okay so four four three six yeah here. so so yeah that'll be a big blow if you're able to 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 take start taking some of his stars right um yeah because he's about to lose 600 up here because i'm taking this and then i got another 300 coming in oh okay yeah so he will get nothing i'm, I'm yeah. just gonna absolutely blow through him here and this is going to get taken and I can move into this or I can really do whatever mm -hmm. I want pretty soon. Just have to hold this. Uh, I got sending more troops there. I'm taking this planet behind him. Um, okay. Another 100's arriving and another 400's going to be coming and this 80 and okay. I think I can hold this. I think I can. Also because oh. I have Well, that'll, that'll help. And they're not using warp gates, and you are. Um, yeah. So, so that's good. Um, yeah, I, I agree that just I would hold as best you can um, on the front, and yeah. start. And then what? So scroll out just a little bit more. Then, yeah, if you can um, start working on purple to the point where you break his spirits. See if you can get teal to then start. Basically, see if teal will attack yellow. Yeah. And um, and and if that'll happen, then then you're in good shape. Yeah, what position is? Yeah, he's in R behind fourth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the question, you know, you, it's a newer game. Maybe they don't care, but technically they would get. You know, you get a you get a victory for first. You get eight rank this four or two. Is, yeah. This guy's not a new player, huh? so he, you know. All right. So he might actually want to take that second place. Hold yeah, on. yeah, yeah. I would talk to him about it and just see if you can get a relationship. I generally, I always like. I basically try to talk to everybody. Like in a sixty-four uh -huh. player game, the beginning of the game, I'll talk to like half the galaxy within the first couple of days if I can. Um, which in an eight-player, you know, there's only seven others and usually it's like this where some of them quit so having us a, a relationship with each always helps um but yeah. yeah all right well, so what other questions do you have about this game um hold on i had a i had a few questions mostly because everything's getting pretty expensive now um like if i look at my galaxy screen now i learned to use it like my cheapest industry is 60. yeah um even with the new terraforming i'm Debating, do I just spend it or do I wait for another terraforming and to then? I don't know. Okay. Well, what, what's your? Go ahead. Let's so, see your cheapest on each of them. So, each, so well, eco seven, but that's like this yeah. That I, yeah. Then you're in your thirties and really thirty six, thirty seven. Okay. Yeah. Which really is fine. It's a lot, but it's it's yeah. within the limits that I would go. Okay, industry. I mean, industry, it's all 60s and 70s, and it just goes up from there. Okay, and then how's your science looking? Science is just over also, 100. Yeah, so you're definitely, okay, and you're researching weapons now? Yeah, I'm going to grab another weapon, because I looked at 
this guy is the one that's mostly doing the weapons research and calculating for how long it would take for him to get this next le weapons level he would take about 42 hours okay. so i'm like way gonna be way ahead on weapons um, mm -hmm. can, I'm, i'll have time to do terraforming and then go back to weapons again uh, yeah sure how long's your terraforming so terraforming now would be 16 and a half hours 16 hours oh, so, so you could have it before the end of this cycle so i guess that's the question i would pose um, weapons are always good, um, but if you switch to terraforming now, you could have it with three hours before the end of production, and then do like a mass economy upgrade, and right, um, and, and so put all your gold in the economy, and then when it clicks over, yeah. do like do a mass industry science, and and while yeah. you're that's I would be really tempted to do that because you, you're not going to win quick now, right? Like, it's going to be a little yeah. bit more drawn out. Um, and Actually, I hadn't thought of that. That's really big brain. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, if you were, like, if it was the way it was when we spoke before, where it was kind of, yeah. you guys were teaming up on yellow, maybe not as big of a yeah. deal. Actually, you still would. I still suggest doing that. But given that you're two-on-one and you're already double both of their economy, to go and, and boost up even more, plus you already have the your positioning is better because you have better carrier movement. Oh, let's look at the right click on uh, purple for me. Um, one of their uh, stars. Right. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Um, yeah, yeah, so, so th these guys are way behind on carriers. Like yeah. So even though their economy combined and their fleet production combined is their thre fleet threatening, is yeah. But, yeah, like, but they have no way of. Like, this guy is going to take millions of years to get stuff. If they're not using warp gates and they don't have enough carriers, it's not the same level of threat. So, yeah, yeah. I, I, don't, I, wouldn't, feel, I wouldn't feel urgent or, or panicked yet. I would, I would do that. I would switch to terraforming, do a big economy boost at the, like once it procs, um, and, yep, and, then, and then switch back to weapons, yep. And then as soon as the next cycle hits, then do your, your another boost on on uh, industry and science um i would just 270 worth one manufacturing i would not i would not do that yet um yeah. i i would i would focus on getting yourself now what about teal does teal have any techs you don't have yeah, it's a lot of experimentation and um, and he has two manufacturing so i would talk yeah. to him about Hey, I'll give you. I wouldn't give them weapons eight if your enemy doesn't have eight. But scanning, yeah, I would be tempted to give them other things. Now, if if purple and yellow already have weapons eight, do they have weapons eight today? Uh, they do. Should, yeah. This guy just got weapons eight. So. so I would I would offer him up weapons eight, right? Because he can get it from the other players anyway, right? So it's yeah. not. And and then so he might be more compelled to hey I'll give you if can I give you weapons and scanning for experiments and manufacturing and pay the difference in cost um, yeah. let's help each other out I mean he might be tempted to work with you that way yeah because he can't attack you anyway right yeah it's yeah he he can't really attack me it's yeah it sounds pretty uh, pretty good yeah sounds tempting. Oh, I'll send him a message. Yeah. So if you get so that would help you with tech. Then you got the economy boost with an industry boost. You're tactically holding your ground. Um, watch for them to build warp gates. Um, and you're not really seeing any other big purple threat. He's just suiciding into losing fights. Yeah. He's uh, he's he he had like 130 ships here, and there was no way I could easily take this without him. Without me losing my position here too. Yeah, yeah. But then he just sent the ships and was like, "Okay, I'll take your planet, and then I'll still hold my planet and my star." Yeah. So. No, I think yeah. you're looking good. Now, I guess the only other thing you might want to look at is so, like, look on the carrier with the if you zoom back in with the 80 ships on it. If you just think um so or any of those yeah. that are going in between, yeah, click on one of those. Yeah. So the one other thing you might want to consider is the timing of these drop-offs so sometimes right you may drop those 80 ships off on fad 
and depending on the timing, maybe the 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 one like the the the, the return ship going from Fad to Marum or whatever, the next next leg of the journey, you could yeah. miss it by an hour, and they they could sit idle. So if you have and so go ahead and zoom back a little bit. If you have a very clear journey, a lot of times what I'll do um, is I might put like two or three or maybe even you know four stars in a row so you don't have that situation where things are sitting idle. Um, so that's something yeah, to think about. They have about. to be like the same distance, don't they? Well, no, no. Like, um, like you, your, your loop could be from... Rasselas to Ro Robach to Fad to Merz Merzim and then all the way back. So one, the, the route doesn't go from star to star. It goes all four stars and then goes all the way back. And if oh, you and yeah. if you and if you do that, what you, you'll never have the situation where you have sh ships idle on a not frontline star. Yeah. The so just have the more like a bunch of stars just constantly. To have all these carriers here, so like yeah, instead of going back and forth between two stars, have them go the entire route, and then the entire route back. And on the route back, you would sit, you would say do nothing. So you don't have to if you like just for an, just take let's take an example. So like that one carrier down it that's not on a loop on the far right. If you zoom out a little bit, yeah, that one because you don't have it looping yet. I so, know. All right, so go ahead and and click on the plus sign there. Your edit edit waypoints, perfect. And undo undo what you have there. Like undo. All right. So what you would do is then you would go from fad to to there, to there. Okay. And then you would loop back all the way back. Oh, don't don't miss. Uh, oh, yeah. Wait, can't I? If yeah, if you can skip it on the way, yeah, that way. Or yeah, go back all the way. To, yeah, there you go. Go. Yep. And then then take your proper route, the full route back. Okay, um, and, oh, and you don't need to. Yeah, you don't need the fad twice because right, you have that's your next stop and your last. So you could edit waypoints and just remove that last one because otherwise it'll stand there. Okay, there you go. And now edit. Yep. And so the you would then you would then put on the collect. You don't collect all ships on that one. So edit that and you would just do nothing. And then on Rasselas you would collect all right because that's your furthest back. Collect, collect, collect all. Collect. Fit, collect all and then drop drop all and that will yeah. get you so now what where this goes wrong is if you need to change routes or you're fearful about purple intercepting you along the way but if you're like pretty comfortable in a route that will keep you from having stars stuck along the way and it could save you you know one to you know a dozen hours um and you could so you could set up a few of those i wouldn't do like you know 20 in a row but you know three or four is will like, we'll get you along, for instance yeah as long as you're convinced now you know the problem is like down there you're probably going to want to have those start going straight yeah. east into purple right like once yeah. you capture those those are, you're just you're not going to go all the way up and around but i could do this here but you could instance. do yeah you could do the yeah exactly and so that should help um help you you know with your efficiency a little bit yeah. So uh, sounds good. All right. Interesting. What other questions? What other questions? Um, I don't know. Do I have any more questions? For now, I think I got everything covered. Okay. Um, well, keep us up. Keep us posted. Now, now we're all vested in your game. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, click on the link for the next episode. And don't forget to click subscribe for more content.